You can't hold a candle to me. Yo, what's up, YouTube? Wait, I should not. Yep, just had to check. But yeah, um, yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. And really quickly, I'm, I wanted to make a really, really quick video. So tomorrow, we will be getting stage seven, which will have a selector here. This selector will allow you to choose any of these. And with an SR selection doll, you can get a favorite. I hereby sent and, um, hold up. Yeah. I shouldn't have those. Actually, I should have those. I don't think I use those. That's weird. Um, those, uh, boxes? Oh, I, I understand. Okay. I understand. But yeah, <laughs> sorry. I got sidetracked. So, um, really quickly, before you make your choice, because I've heard a lot of people saying that the two choices are Laplace and Diesel. And I've heard that Diesel is actually, you know, better than Laplace. The thing is, before you go out and just pick Diesel, I'm going to advocate for Laplace, uh, you know, before Diesel. And there's one, there's one really big reason for that. And that reason, I mean, or you could also just, you know, hold on to the selection box until you get one of them and then just get the other. Um, I, I probably wouldn't do that. That's, yeah, um, and that's not what I'm going to do. Um, if I do get another rocket launcher, I could just put it on my Scarlet Black Shadow. But yes, um, really quickly, um, I would say that the five strongest teams in the game are the Tia and Naga team, the Bunny team, the Crown team, um, the Shotgun team is actually, they're actually in the top five now. Um, the, Soda pretty much solves the CDR problem, pretty much, not completely, but it's like, um, it's not as big. Um, and then, you know, Alice solves the shotgun problem. I mean, um, solves the healing problem. So, um, yeah, um, and this team is now in the top five. And I believe that this is now the weakest out of the top five teams. Um, from what I've tried, this is the one that does the least damage for me. Um, I normally have Pepper here, together. but uh, I We're wanted to see resort. if Mika was going to be crazy. But yes, I'm... And this is it. The thing is, the Rocket Launcher team is going to benefit way more from Laplace than you going out and just getting Diesel because she's the strongest. Because if you look... Being a burst two is like the worst because it's so competitive because teams are built around burst twos. Crown, Rem, um, at this one it's really built around Leona and Tuve. But yeah, um, Crown, Rem, Blanc, and Noir, and then Naga and Tia. You can't really replace any of those burst twos. You can't. So yeah, she'll be she'll be very strong. But the thing is, you can actually put um blah. you can actually put Laplace on the rocket launcher team, because I have a feeling that she will see, I'm saying I have a feeling because I am not sure. I have not had the luck to be able to test these characters out. But I am going to assume that Laplace is now going to be stronger for bosses than Amelia or A2. And maybe not as strong as power if you have like your power like a you know uh with like a bunch of investment and dupes and stuff because uh she does have a really strong nuke right here i think that it's the strongest nuke in the game but yeah um so maybe that could do a deal a bunch of like a bunch of single target damage i cannot talk but i think that the best option is just going to be a laplace because you can actually slot her in for the rocket launcher team So yeah, um, there's there's way too much competition for Diesel as a burst two to really be useful. So I'm just going to say go for Laplace. That is if you care about meta. If you don't care about meta and you're just um, going for the wallpaper, first off, that's super freaking based. I love that. Um, then yeah, this, just just pick what you want. This will probably be my first video that I released this week. I was going to do like um a few first but yeah um 
I wanted to, uh, I really want this one. I really want this one. Um, I wanted to release this as fast as possible. Yeah, dude. I really want Freemus. She may be next after Laplace, because even though Diesel is really, really, really good, I can't imagine using her over, like, any of these teams. Like, she, she does not fit on a single one of these meta teams. So, it's like, what's the point in using her? But, yeah, um... Uh, yeah, uh, really quickly, for those of you that don't want to watch my next video, because I will be recording a video when I wake up, because it is like 3. So, yeah, um, when I wake up, I will be recording a video over the over the three strongest um, solar ray teams. The three strongest solar ray teams, from what I can tell, for Gravedigger, are probably going to be these ones. I'll just show you really quickly. This one, this one, uh... Yes, this one, this one, and then this one. This is going to be your strongest team by far, uh, I would assume, because of how uh, of how close. Uh, Gravedigger, I completely freaking forgot um, this man's name, but yeah, uh, because of how like close Gravedigger is, um, this team will be doing a lot of damage. If you don't have Alice, because um, honestly, Alice is not is not a necessity. If you don't have Alice, I would assume Noise could be a really nice replacement. Um, you kind of do need Soda for this team, if I'm being honest. Soda is probably on the level of Tuve and Leona in, in terms of importance for this team now. Privity is the hardest hitter, um, so the one that you would be able to swap out comfortably might be Alice for like another healer. If you don't have her, or like if you like don't want to summon for her, but um, I would recommend everyone to summon for at least one copy of this girl. She kind of, she kind of enables the shotgun team to be like insane, along with these two. <clears throat> and if you have these, um, if you have these three, Tuve, Leona, and um, Maid Privity, then I would go for Soda because the shotgun team is now in the top five in terms of damage for, for like. Any enemy that is mid to close range. When they're far away, I don't think that they're top five. I think that they may be top six, and that maybe I think the last bullet fire team might might uh, might out DPS them. I can't talk, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, these are going to be the five strongest teams for anyone that does not want to watch the next video. And yeah, that's it. I will be uh, you can't hold ending a the video here. Me. Just wanted to make sure that you guys know uh, that stuff about the selection thing. Yeah, I will um, see you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. Um, if not, then I appreciate you just being here. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.